Hey folks, a warm one across the valley again today, setting records across a lot of the area, but you can probably say goodbye to that for a while. Record highs, that is. It's going to be a whole lot cooler by this time tomorrow. These are the currents. The island 78. Everybody else in the 80s right now. Brownsville actually the warm spot at 85. Our winds right now expected out of the southeast, but that front pushes through. By 7 o'clock tonight, the winds are out of the north and at the coast. It gets quite gusty, 32 miles an hour, even stronger than that at times. A gale warning is in effect. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow, the wind's still out of the north, 10 to 15 miles an hour, about 30 at the coast, much windier there. It'll be that way all day, 10 to 15 across most of the area, stronger at the coast. Temperature-wise, here's where we go tonight. Just about everybody, with the exception of the island, drops into the 40s. The skies clear out overnight, and that allows temperatures to drop pretty quickly with that northerly wind. And then tomorrow, we rebound, but not much. Nowhere near the 80s, nowhere near the 70s, barely into the 60s across the area. North winds all day, about 10 to 20 miles an hour, so certainly a cooler day tomorrow than today by a lot. And we're not going to get back to where we were today for a while, probably next week sometime. So if you look, the normal high this time of year is 72. Tomorrow, 61. Wednesday, 63. Thursday, 70. And then we're going to hold right about normal then Friday through the weekend. So not unseasonably warm or cool over the weekend, probably right about where we're supposed to be. We've seen clouds today. Not a whole lot of action with the front as it makes its way into the region. Could be a brief sprinkle, but not much more than that. And then by tomorrow morning, it's just chilly, breezy. In fact, might be windy early and the sun comes out. Looks like a beautiful day, but a chilly day. So bright sunshine, but temperatures work hard to get back to the 60s. And then tomorrow night, we clear out again. We stay clear all night tomorrow night, so temperatures drop down perhaps into the upper 30s in some places for Wednesday morning. By afternoon, temperatures still don't warm up much. Rain chances, not much. Pretty quiet all the way through Thursday. Looks like uh, behind this front, things should be pretty dry across the region. Look at the rest of South Texas. We're in the 80s, but it's only 59 in San Antonio. Victoria's 55. Push back. Look at Dallas. 38 right now, 37 in Lubbock. Cold air in the northern part of the state, but the front pushes through tonight, and then the cooler air builds into the valley. High pressure pushes in from the northwest, settles into Texas by Wednesday. By then, the wind goes calm. As high as almost right on top of us, but Thursday it moves away. Winds back out of the southeast. We try to warm up. We bring a few clouds in by the end of the day Thursday, and then that front pushes into the region Friday. Uh, probably brings clouds and could trigger a shower or two on Friday, and then we just kind of get that front through and temperatures hold steady. Then over the weekend, it's not a particularly strong front. That next one. Travel plans tomorrow. Look at this. You're going to Dallas in the morning, 30 at 7 a.m. San Antonio, 37. Houston, 38 by afternoon. Everybody sees sunshine back into the 50s in East Texas, 40s in West Texas, and down here we climb back to about 60 or so. Your first one, five active with the forecast for tonight then. Windy and colder with clearing skies, about 44 for your low. Northerly winds, 12 to 22. Then tomorrow, 61. That's it. Mostly sunny, breezy, chilly. Northerly winds continue all day at about 10 to 20. Only 62 on Wednesday, 70 on Thursday. We get to 72 Friday and we hold there Saturday and Sunday. Another front on Friday, not particularly strong. Triggers isolated showers, but then the sun comes out behind it. Looks nice over the weekend. 50, 46 for lows, 72 for highs, and then by Monday, 76. Long range models to the middle of next week suggest a warm up, not a cool down. That's your updated first one five, AccuWeather Forecast.